Hello everyone. Let us all sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's reflection is based on the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus shows his power and dominance over the evil spirit. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter four, verse thirty-one to thirty-seven. Then Jesus went to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, where he taught the people on the Sabbath. They were all amazed at the way he taught, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue was a man who had the spirit of an evil demon in him. He screamed out in a loud voice, "Ah!" What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Are you here to destroy us? I know who you are. You are God's holy messenger. Jesus ordered the spirit, "Be quiet and come out of the man." The demon threw the man down in front of them and went out of him without doing him any harm. the people were all amazed and said to one another what kind of words are these with authority and power this man gives orders to evil spirits and they come out and the report about jesus spread everywhere in that region the gospel of the lord in this passage Jesus shows us his power and dominance over the evil spirit. He shows us that he is our one true God and no one else other than him can dwell in our bodies. Here on the day of the Sabbath Jesus goes to Capernaum and starts his teaching about the greatness and power of God. Everyone sitting near him but all amazed by the way he taught and spoke with authority as he was preaching a man who had the spirit of an evil demon in him started screaming in a loud voice ah what do you want with us jesus of nazareth are you here to destroy us i know who you are you are god's holy messenger After the man finished screaming Jesus ordered the spirit to come out of the man Immediately the demon came out of him and left him without doing him any harm The people around there were all amazed after seeing the authority and power of Jesus over the evil spirit After this incident The report about Jesus spread everywhere in that region. Now this passage teaches us many things. It shows us that if we trust in God, no evil can cause us any harm. God has the power and authority to defeat any evil within us. As long as Jesus is there within us, we do not have to be afraid of anything around us he is always there for us and so we ask jesus to continue to dwell in us we ask him to cast out all the evil spirits of hate anger jealousy and all the other bad habits that torment us May he free us from all these evil spirits as we continue to praise and thank him for all that he does for us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.